Man, if I told you this is like a real life Lifetime movie, you wouldn't believe it. Boy, wait, wait a second. Isn't Lifetime movies mostly about real life things? You get what I'm saying. This thing's scandalous. P-A-S-C-A-L. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, The Pascal Show. One word. Hit that like button down below and let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Anyway, we got to jump into this story because uh, this is a one that I wanted to talk about a few days ago, but it was so thick and so meaty and juicy. That I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I need to let this one sit and simmer for a little bit. And now I'm starting to see it popping off in the news. People are finally starting to talk about this. There's been more developing news about this. So let's get into this one. There is a police officer, a uh, a chief of police of uh, Stinnett, Stinnett or Stinney, uh Texas. And uh, he goes by the name of Jason Collier. Uh, he is 39 years old, and, um, well, let's just say that uh, Jason Collier uh, really likes his women's, okay? So, make a long story short, there was a woman by the name of Cecily uh, Stein, Steinmetz, uh, which is his girlfriend, um, that went on to, she went on to her social medias, and put this mother lover on blast. I mean, she put him on blast so hard, okay? Only to find out is as she put it out on Twitter or as she put it out on her social medias, mainly Facebook, you you, you know, you can never never underestimate the power of, of Facebook uh, because Facebook is for family. That's when everybody close to you starts to share things, starts to spread like wildfire this particular story. This story just blows up, right? She goes on to Facebook and basically tells the whole world that uh, this man has been living a double, triple life, only to find out that, uh, who you know, Cecily, who is actually his fiance, finds out that he is actually married with children and that he has another fiance somewhere else in the country, in a whole other state. When he was talking to, when he was like with his fiance, Cecily, he was telling Cecily, hey, you know, I am divorced. I have an annulment. Here is the documents. Funny thing is, is those documents were fake. They were fraudulent documents that he made to make it seem like he was actually divorcing his wife or was divorced from his wife when he actually really wasn't. But you know what? The news kind of covered this thing, too, and I want you guys to hear this because this is this is just fascinating to me. Absolutely fascinating. Let's take a look. Arrested and has resigned. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is a developing... Sinet Police Chief Jason Collier is arrested and has resigned. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is a developing story that we've been following closely since yesterday. The city Crazy. of Stinnett put Collier on administrative leave yesterday. That's according to the city manager. Today, he's been arrested by the Texas Rangers and he resigned. KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has more from local law enforcement and from the woman who claims that she was the alleged victim of Collier's alleged crime. Kaylee, joining us now live in studio with our top story tonight at 10. Kaylee? Jackie, Texas DPS Sergeant Cindy Barkley says the Hutchinson County District Attorney's Office requested the Texas Rangers conduct a criminal investigation into Jason Collier. That was Tuesday. Sergeant Barkley says, quote, Collier sent a text message to the victim with a fraudulent government record attached. The document was a fraudulent marriage annulment. Thursday afternoon, the Texas Rangers arrested Collier and booked him into the Hutchinson County Jail. This He's charged like with tampering with a government record with the intent to defraud or harm, which is a state jail felony. His bond was set at $10,000. Tuesday, Amarillo woman Cecily Steinmetz posted this to Facebook, saying she was engaged to Collier before she learned he was married. Steinmetz's original post has gone viral, shared tens of thousands of times, even internationally. I spoke with Steinmetz, who alleges Collier sent her a fake annulment document. Mm -hmm. Steinmetz says this photo of an annulment document is from Collier. And then he was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll get you the annulment. He's like, just hold on. And I was like, okay, you know, let me see it then. And he sent that to me. Um, and I told him, I said, well, I'm not going to take this at its face value. I'm going to check it out in Potter County. 
I did not think it was right in his position um, to be presenting people with a false document like that. I mean, and also you got to remember, I mean, a woman who has been burned and has been run amok, bamboozled for as long as she has been conned into this. I don't blame her for pressing charges. I don't blame her for bringing that this these fake documents in and just, you know, getting his ass in some way. Because, I mean, shoot. All, what she what he did is break a whole bunch of hearts. Real talk. He broke a lot of freaking hearts. He had to get caught somehow. You know what I'm saying? This is karma, baby. Straight up karma. You can see on this document it claims it was filed in the 108th District Court in Potter County. Judge Doug Woodburn presides over that court. We reached out and shared with him the photo of the annulment document Steinmetz claimed Collier sent her. Mm. Judge Woodburn replied saying, quote, no match exists either under that name or cause number. Our cause numbers are completely different, consisting of a zero, followed by six numbers starting in seven or eight. My court is followed by the letter E. It's a fake, end quote. Facts. Late Thursday afternoon, Stinnett City Manager Dirk Downs posted a statement to the city's Facebook page saying, quote, Chief of Police Jason Collier resigned his position effective immediately with the city of Stinnett. The city has accepted his resignation. I wonder why. Because he guilty. <laughs> he guilty as hell. What he did was wrong. What he did is wrong as hell. Of course he's going to resign. He got not, He literally got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. You know what I'm saying? Per city policy, we will have no comment about his personal matters. Mm. When asked what she hoped to accomplish by posting about Collier, Steinmetz said she wanted to raise awareness locally and for Collier to be held accountable. I just hope that he has learned his lesson um, not to deceive people like that. Um, I was also more apt to believe him about everything due to his position. I mean, I would think that that would be a very upstanding person and a very honest person, and that is how he presented himself. And I would just hope that this doesn't happen to any other women in the future. Um, I don't think it will. the lies and promising things that are never going to happen. You know, I really don't think that it's going to ever happen again for him, ever again. I'm sure there's plenty other dudes out here that do have done this kind of deed. Um, but for him, I think, I think, I think it's, I think he's been exposed, like, this ain't happening anytime soon ever again. There's just no reason to drag people and their children into that. Sergeant Barkley tells me the criminal investigation by the Texas Rangers into Collier is ongoing. There's no further information available at this time. Live in studio. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, this Steinet police chief is a piece of trash. Uh, real talk. That is a real piece of trash. And the funny thing is, is like, if you just want to be, you know, if you want to go and sow your wild oats and all that stuff, why don't you do that on on your own time, not on several other women's uh, playing with every tugging at all these other women's heartstrings and all that. Then on top of that, being married. Let's not forget that being married. On top of that, if you want to be, you know, the like, you know, run around and, and sow your wild oats then why don't you just go and do it and be single? You know what I'm saying? Why do you have holding all these girls' hearts and, 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 and you know, their anticipation, their love, their emotions? You're holding them. You're, you're holding them in your, in your hand. That's, that's sociopathic, y'all. That is some crazy stuff. This gentleman is absolutely insane. That goes without saying. I mean, we can all agree that this dude is absolutely 110% insane. There's no reason for things like, there's no reason for him to be playing seven, 13, 19 time, like triple lives, different lives. Like I said, I don't even know what the multitude of whatever, you know what I mean? Like you got quadruple, sep, septuple, but that's it. How far? I don't know. Octuple. That's as far as I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy's a real piece of trash. And the funny thing is, is that, okay, the worst that could have happened is maybe he would have lost his job because they would have sit, sat there and said, well, this shows your character. This shows what kind of guy you are. Fact, fact is, is that I would never want to have him as a cop or a chief of police. If, you're, if you can con your way into the bed of multiple women, 
put rings on their fingers. By the way, is a very that's a very expensive lifestyle, especially on your budget and on you know what you get as a salary. This is uh, unless you're giving them like Cracker Jack box rings. It's a very it shows your character. It shows how much of a con you are, how much you're willing to lie. That is a dirty, dirty thing to do what you did to those women. Who's to say that you're not doing those dirty things while you are a freaking cop? Personally, bro, I wouldn't want you to, to pull me over. I'd be scared. God knows what kind of lying and stuff you would do after I'm dead in a ditch somewhere. Real talk. The only thing. Thank God he got caught. But the only reason why he's getting arrested is solely because of the fraudulent documents. That's it. This could have just been a very funny viral uh, uh, post on Facebook that would have got him in, into, into a lot of trouble. And he would have had nothing but public scrutiny and defaming of his name and destroying his reputation. Because one thing every man's got, the only thing a man's got is his rep and when his rep is destroyed that's the worst thing you can get but then on top of that you're getting arrested for trying to cover up a lie to keep your con going makes you the worst type of criminal there is and thank you jesus he is not a cop anymore and please oh god oh god oh god please do not let him be a cop ever again let him you know what? You know what? The world can use a few more pickup artist, uh, you know, gurus. You know what I mean? Start a start a write a book. You know what I'm saying? You had to pick up all those girls somehow. Maybe you got skills in that. Write a book about it. Turn it into a movie. Turn it into a reality show. You know what I'm saying? We all need a really good laugh nowadays. So I say just go ahead and go for it. Anyway. That's the video. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on this story? You know what I'm saying? This dude is dirty. This is a dirty cop. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, I don't know what he's done job wise. But the fact that he is. The fact that he is has conned his way into other multiple women's hearts is just mind blowing to me. And uh, like I said, you know, he, 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 you know. If he didn't do the fraudulent stuff, he wouldn't have been arrested. But most definitely, he deserves the Facebook post. What he did was heartless. Real talk. And then the fraudulent documents is just stupid as hell. That's just a dumbass move. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button and most definitely crush that subscribe button. Working to get to 30,000 subscribers. So please... Hit that subscribe button. It would be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family. Anyway, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.